Have you ever dreamed about a perfect digital copy of your favorite tube amp? A convenient and cheap plugin that can mimic perfectly a $4,000 boutique amp? In this video we will discuss the status of the more advanced amp cloning technologies available today to verify if and how we can build the perfect digital copy of our beloved tube amps. Let's start! In my last video we have scientifically proved that NAM and its neural network technology provides us with the best digital copy of a tube amp for a specific setting. We have proven it using the null test. I mean, if you phase invert a waveform and you play it together with its original counterpart, you obtain silence. And the NAM profile was the one that provides us with the lowest resulting volume compared to the Tonix Quad Cortex and Camper. Please check out the video in the card above for the whole scientific explanation. Now, let's take that test a little bit farther. First of all, what is the best digital copy of a tube amp? You may say, well, the one that played against its tube amp counterpart phase inverted give us zero, silent, in the null test. Well, not exactly. In fact, our beloved tube amps are strange animals. They are not linear. And if you play the exact same lick two times, through the same amp, with the same settings, guess what? You are not gonna obtain the exact same sound. Let's try. This is a simple chord played through a Friedman Pink Taco using a pre-recorded DI guitar track. This is the exact same chord played a second time through the same pink taco with the same settings using the exact same DI track. Let's now play the two tracks together, phase inverted. Well, we are not obtaining silence, but minus 55.3 LUFS. I have done this test many times, even in different days, and I have obtained an average of minus 53.3 LUFS. Therefore, I would say that the perfect copy of a tube amp in the null test has a limit of minus 53.3 LUFS. In the null test I did with the NAM versus Quad Cortex Camper and Tonix, the NAM profile actually scored minus 40.8 LUFS. And so now the question is, can we improve this value, creating even a better snapshot of our amp? Ok, now follow me with uh, some pretty nerdy stuff here. Let's say you want to become the greater archer in the world. Well, you have to train yourself. Now, if you practice or train yourself, let's say with 50 trials, I don't think that the probability you hit the target with the next shoot is so high. But if you train yourself with 500 trials, your probability increases. And if you train yourself with 1000 trials, your probability to hit the target with the next shoot gets higher. Let's translate it to neural networks. There is a specific parameter with which you can tell to a neural network how hard it has to train itself. I'm simplifying, obviously, it's not exactly like that. This parameter is called epoch. And the good news here is that we can tell to NAM how hard it has to train its neural network. I mean, we can tell to NAM for how many epochs, cycles, it has to train the neural network. Now, 
I have trained the NAM neural network for my pink taco with many different epochs values and these are the results I have obtained in the null test with 10 epochs minus 36 LUFS and 0.051 error to signal ratio called ESR with 50 epochs minus 38 LUFS with 100 epochs minus 40.5 LUFS with the 200 epochs still minus 40.5 LUFS with 300 epochs minus 40.6 LUFS with 500 epochs minus 40.7 LUFS with 1000 epochs minus 40.8 LUFS and I have obtained the same value even training the neural network with 5000 epochs with 10,000 epochs and those tests took me a lot of time I obtained the same results or at least the improvements are so little that my measuring devices are not able to detect them therefore we can say that the best result we can obtain is 40.8 LUFS versus the theoretical limit of minus 53.3 LUFS the difference is around 12.5 LUFS which is an error of around 23% and please take into consideration that the more epoch you're gonna use the more computational time is gonna require for instance 300 epochs took me 3 minutes and 20 seconds 500 8 minutes and 15 seconds 1000 around 60 minutes obviously the 10,000 epochs training took me a lot of time we are talking about days and it is finally not worth the time spent as we have verified previously now the real limit of this technology in my opinion is not the 23% error aforementioned it's a pretty good value actually considering how low are the two values measured and I would say that it is enough for us human being in terms of what it is audible the real problem in my opinion is that each profile is a perfect snapshot of your amp but if you change the gain level etc the profile starts to divert from its real counterpart to solve this problem the solution could be to take as many profiles of the same amp as much as its knob combinations I mean its knobs possible settings let's do some math with our pink taco it has five knobs and three switches let's say that you want to profile 10 discrete settings of each knob like uh, knob at zero knob at 10 percent etc well you would have 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 five times for profiling every combination of knobs multiplied by three by two and by two again for the three switches and their positions well we are obtaining a wobbling 1.2 millions of profiles what okay let's say that we use five discrete levels for each knob well we would end up with 37,500 profiles still a lot now let's say that we are gonna train each profile with almost its best epoch value in terms of quality which is 1000 epoch with my nvidia 4090 card each profile is gonna take around 16 minutes 16 minutes multiplied by 37,500 equal to 600,000 minutes equal to 10,000 hours equal to 416 days wow with the current technology it's gonna take more than a year to profile our amp with just five discrete values for each of our knobs it's a lot we may try to have many computers working in parallel in order to train the networks even if obviously the price to pay is gonna increase therefore at the end probably this is still not a viable solution 
Currently, I think that we can use this tech to profile the gain and the master knobs of an amp. And we could still use interpolation to mimic the others, even if not obtaining the best possible results. But I think this is actually the future. In the coming years, we will increase the neural network efficiency. We will increase the computing power at our disposal. And in less than we may expect, the perfect digital copy of our beloved tube amps is gonna become a reality. What an amazing time to be a guitar player. Thank you for watching and see you soon.